with director of rugby Steve Diamond, your first full season at Newcastle. Steve, how excited by the opportunity are you and how much did you get out of your time this last season? Well, I think it was valuable time coming in in March and having a look and, and seeing what condition and state we were in. And, you know, obviously results wise, it was not very pleasant, but we managed to get a few basics into the into the system of the club of how we're going to play. We we're really pleased to see the lads coming in good condition. Uh, everybody's fitter than they were this time last year, which is a, a statement on its on its own. Um, and yeah, really looking forward to, uh, to to delivering some results next year. The sign behind you says 100% Falcons. Is that what it's about this season? Is that the sort of message you're putting across to the lads? Yeah, well, I think history tells us that Newcastle have been fantastic at home. And uh, the mantra is going to be, uh, let's look after our own selves, really. 100% ourselves. Don't worry about the opposition. And if we get our things right, defence, attack, set piece, then uh, I'm sure we'll be a, a difficult side to beat. Got a number of new faces through the door this summer, as always. Quite a lot that you've worked with before. Was that a conscious choice and why is that important to you? Well, it's important because they're all in the mid-20s, uh, all played 100-plus games. Uh, the ones that haven't will definitely play 100-plus games. Uh, and, and they bring that hard work element, which, again, I think uh, Newcastle lacked last year a little bit and I think they can help deliver that message with the current Newcastle lads who've stayed with us. So where are we at in terms with the squad? Are you just putting the, the last couple of finishing touches to the, the squad and the staff and what is it that you're looking for? Yeah, we're, 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 looking, we're looking to bring a couple more players in. Uh, sourcing them is, is what I'm doing at the minute. Uh, Staff-wise, we're OK for the, for, for the moment. Uh, I'll be looking after the defence and everybody else has a role and the clearing, there's clarity on what their roles are. Uh, but for the first three, four weeks, the rugby takes a back seat. It's getting the lads fit psychologically and physically and uh, uh, you know the first three days of this week have, have gone reasonably well. In terms of the director of rugby role what is it that you do during pre-season obviously it's that time where the strength and conditioners really get a hold of the lads and uh, get some gains in them. Yeah well normally at normal clubs you go on holiday <laughs> but, uh, but it's not a normal club is it we've not won a game for 18 months so it's all hands on deck we've had a good break uh, we've got three weeks hard work then we get another little break and the same after that. So the, the, the reward at Newcastle for working hard is to getting time off and uh, it's a real good incentive for all of us. Winning games is what it's all about and this season we've got the return of relegation with the sort of deal that's being done with the Championship. I know you're someone that's very positive about and you do see the benefits of that. Yeah, I do. I think we need a fear factor and the, 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 the jeopardy that relegation brings puts a different slant on it and, you know, you can't... You can't sulk and worry about nothing because you can't go down and there's dead rubber games in the, in the season. Everybody has something to play for and historically in the Premiership, and I know because I've been in it since its inauguration, is, is, the, is sometimes the games at the bottom of the league get as big a crowds as the games at the top of the league and that's what rugby's about. It's, you know, we've got a great supporter base up here in the North East and if we do find ourselves in a, in a battle, then uh, you know, I know we'll be well supported. One facet of pre-season that we brought in last year was the True North Origin, splitting into four regions, um, Durham, Northumberland, Cumbria, Tyneway. You keen to continue that this year? We've just had a few little uh, games in the gym there. What, what do you see as the benefits of that? Yeah, the state of origin is a great mantra, you know. The, the, the north of England has always been a rugby hotbed and those counties in particular have always delivered internationals and, and, and are still doing uh, so yeah, that, that will play a game in the summer where it will be, um, in the old days it was possibles versus probables, but it will be state of origin. Cumbria, Northumberland versus Tyne and Weir and Durham or whichever combination. And at the end of every session at the moment we have a bit of competition in those, those groups, which is hard competition. So building resilience, building, building a, a mindset in the place that you know it, it, we're going to be a good side and uh, it's going to be difficult for teams to beat us.